Because it's St. Patrick's weekend, and because I'm Irish, I'm going to start playing Hearts of Iron 4 as Ireland. Set everything up historically, waiting to see how much difference we would have made, could have made, given that we stayed out of World War II. And this is mostly going to be a support playthrough. Ireland doesn't have a very large army, we don't have a lot of industry, it's... We're not going to be able to do that much, except as a support role. Flies, subs, spies. Right? Get them onto it. So we're overwrite this old one that I was using to test. First things first, because we only have a generic focus tree, I'm just going to go with political effort because we need the extra political power. Yeah. Technology wise, I'm initially going to brush um, some of the electronic engineering and then industry because we're going to need that. Wow, look at our our mighty army, single infantry division, which is heavily understaffed, undersupplied. The one thing I have to sort out. I'm gonna bum rush these. Uh, sorry, not. I'm gonna rush the industry here so I can skip that focus later. We only have one in general. Might as well put them in charge. And just constantly drill these guys. What I'm going to do once I have artillery unlocked is replace these three with a single artillery battalion. I will lower the combat width to 50 to 15 rather than 18. I'm intending this to be a mainly defensive army, so that means I need to optimize for maybe hills. Just the terrain map load on. So it's quite a lot of hills and mountains around here. Dingle, Katamara. There are planes in the middle, but nobody optimizes for them. And then forests. So, yeah. Combat width of, of 50 max means with a 15 width battalion, with division, we can fit three in. And it's roughly the same here. Well, it'd be 75, but we can get four there. Forest. Most of the naval invasions are likely to come around Munster or Leinster. So, kind of where I am is probably safe. But I'll come into that later. Once I've got the political efforts, good. Go for industry efforts, then go down these two, then double back here, then go into naval efforts so I can build up our naval industry. As far as the political part go, oh, I forgot to add this. I'm going to call this, which I believe is Irish for a special branch. Not much of it, I'm not actually a native Irish speaker. I can speak some of it, but. Once I've got the in the um, political efforts, probably going to go for the for this Desmond McGarry guy. I don't know who he is? He's probably just made up. Because we need the upgrade time and the operatives. That upgrade time means that once we've got once we've got these, we can waste less time building them, more time on actually doing the sneaky breaky stuff.
you want commando training because that, that reduces the risk of taking operations. That's going to be key. So a few traits you kind of want to, to select for when, when getting his operatives. That's one. Seducer's another. Infiltrator's another. But we'll see what we get. Let's go left first. Our first agent. Hmm. The main reason we want this commando ability is you can, you can see that their target sabotage is more effective, they're better at capturing ciphers, better they're just better all around, and they're less likely to be spotted. I'll leave her here on the on counterintelligence until I have a second one. This is mainly so I can put so I can put as many of them into Germany as I can get as I can get away with rather. Right? This is gonna take a while to do, but it is going to pay off. That's Civilian factory there, military, mill. I am not the best player, so there's probably ways I can optimize this better. I'm not really too pushed with that. Let's do a training division. Find for myself for later. And change it afterward. Ooh, you, sir, which means that we're even better at infiltrating and the commando. Go for a skateboard. If I go for this, I'm basically banking on my operatives getting caught sooner or later. Whereas with this guy, they're less likely to get caught in the first place. Go with this guy. Building it, building up that cell network. Once I've got five, five upgrades total, I can get a third agent, and I'll probably put them on counterintelligence full time. Maybe on the, you know, something else. I don't know yet. Right. Let's say I was going to go try and focus on the navy. Yeah. The only two we have are this um, it's nice of battle, which only affects capital ships and screens, not subs. And naval aviation, this is useless to me. This might be useful if I do get screens like destroyers. More importantly, we get that naval experience gain. Not enough equipment. I really need better industry. and stealing. Again, every upgrade I'm going for is just making my operatives better. Now, the question is, do I go with the, wait for the upgrade? Hmm. 
get started on artillery, because we are going to need that. Artillery is the king of battle. Question is which which doctrine am I gonna go with? Historically, I've usually gone with superior firepower because whilst the meta, it basically means throw as much artillery as possible at things and blow, and blow them up that way. Because this soft attack thing, that's key for pretty much everything. Soft attack is basically how well you do against infantry, which make up most of the most of the land units in the game. And in real life, you cannot hold terrain without infantry. However, if I'm fighting defensively, Grand Battle Plan might not be a bad idea. Especially since, once I get down here, the um, re recon battalion... Yeah. Recon companies will provide an extra soft attack as w to, infantry, to infantry, as well as buffing artillery. But that's the way he's off, so I'm going to leave it for now. Next person I'm going to get is going to be a chief of army. Ah, need one more upgrade. As well go with the... I mean, civilian for now. actually need just to disperse in industry now. And now we have our fifth offer, our third operative. Where are they gonna be? Hotten up in Spain. So, offense or defense? Let me go with defense because I'm not playing. Wow. <laughs> this one really hit the jackpot. User, safe cracker, ape artist. Kind of wasted over there, but. For now. I think. As you can see, they both reduce the risk of this considerably. Probably could do it with, with just one, but hey, why not do a good job of it? Here go to the Olympic Games. And to do their sneaky, freaky stuff. i put a naval base here in Cork because. That's where the Irish Navy actually has their main base nowadays. Uh, maybe I'll put one, maybe I'll put one in Galway as well because ah, that's not... I'm gonna get transport planes because I'll, I might need them for covert operations, but. 
that's another thing. And again, that's a while whiles away. Those you know, for supplies, brains. Again, I'm gonna be churning this stuff out for out for the allies. That's how I'm gonna play this. Not exciting, but it's gonna make a difference. Hey, put this into context. Canada apparently produced more trucks in World War II than Italy, Japan, and Germany combined. Which probably one of the most boring but practical things they they did for the, for the entire war efforts. Just providing the logistics, it's to train troops, hell, even just timber for plane for planes and stuff. the armament efforts. Let's see. Support equipment again. Gonna need that. Some of these covert operations require it. Some require, some require infantry equipment. I'm gonna rush this. It's a little bit early, but it'll pay off. It will pay off in the long run. Right, thunderbolts. Get to work. That's to duplicate this. I'm gonna hold off until I have until I have enough um, experience to get get something. Get one doctrine at least. From previous examination of previous games, I found that if I get superior doctrine, then the spirit of the academy, it, basically whatever doctrine you take will affect the the spirits you can get. However, this is one I definitely want to get because entrenching. Oh yes, we need that. So I am going to. This means that uh, engineers will be completely free. They don't cost anything to add. Although that might not be so. I think about it because the only the only support I'll be able to infantry battalion I'll be able to get or engineering battalion rather is just going to be bog standard and engineering company. I'll hold off and see. Military theorist. So we can get. And they've completed. Surplus requires a health bonus. Let's get back. Oh. Get all this information out of the way now so that they can use it when later. I have it ready to go. You paid this and Your defense. This is not a not an attacking unit. Attacking unit. It's basically one that will just hold the line. That's all I need. To, all I need to do here. Hold the coastline. Raid subs. They should be good.
Uh, transport. I wish there was an option for a lighter one that might wouldn't care might not carry as much, but it would be able to. It would be cheaper, quicker. Quite a suit to this sort of thing. Next thing up, next device I'm gonna go for is probably gonna be the mass. I actually don't know any of these names. Anyone I recognize is Douglas Hyde because he was our first president, which is to say, in the state, not head of government. He should. If you wish. Yeah. Hold the Irish Air Force on. Transport plane. Not gonna do much. Wasn't that an unholy mess? What do you know? We need a transfer plate? We have one. Saying the support equipment isn't used by any templates, but no boss. Be used for other things. That's the Spearhead Division. Another optimistic name. Means they're just gonna be sitting around doing nothing. Extra experience, plus we can start creating convoys to give people. Ooh, there we go. That's hotting up. Gangs are staying out for now. 
How well did that work out for Belgium in 1940? Probably not. Experiments so I can get the rubber at least. Right, which to go with? Well, this is more of an attacking than a yay. It's good. These aren't too much use to me. Because of bugging the UI there. What would though? I'm just gonna go with for firepower. It doesn't require a lot of industry, but I think I've managed that in the past. Schools. Which of these I'll go with? Because we only have one general. We might we're probably not likely to get another. Oh, if we're fighting defensively, then... This is what we want. Convoy Warfare. Next one will be Submarine Primacy. Because what that does is subs are quicker and cheaper. We want that. change. Right. Probably gonna go for the industrial concern once I get this. Now we've got the dockyards. Thumbs for the win. This so we get the Extra experience and reduction in land dock. Who also need to get these guys? Air doctrine. Not sure, which one I'll go with? To be honest, I'm probably just gonna go with them um, fighters and close air support. Piper weighs off and deep. Next thing I'm going to do after the army effort is to rush the extra research slot, construction effort, secret weapons. Or rather, research, secret weapons, construction, then double, then double back and go, go after this lot. Prepare. This might not be my best idea. So the reason I'm not inclined to go with this now is, well, the attrition speed, but there are other ways I can get, will be helpful. 
Engineers will be free. They only cost 10 supply points. Or 10. Army XP. So this would could be a bit of a waste if I think. Whereas this is now going, going to be a bit of a waste for well, actually adding extra infantry and artillery onto things, they're gonna be free. That's good, so that's gonna be good. And artillery gains extra experience. So yeah, that's what I'm going for. There I go. Always overthinking it. Right. My command is... No, I'm not disbanding it. That would be stupid. Changing to a regular infantry division. We gain some manpower and infantry equipment back. Because it can be used for other things. They get anti-air because support anti-air will just ruin any air, air, enemy aircraft in single player, but also provide some anti-armor work as well. Kind of want that. Finally, we're using the support equipment. Steel industrial blueprints. Go of them. That was a setback I didn't need. I got this extra slot. I'm probably going to dedicate it to build, building up the na build up the navy. of naval command. We're obviously getting a little bit of work worried about Germany. Thinking I might go with Alright, as I was saying, most of these aren't gonna be too useful to me. Bad weather bad weather might be handy, but Basically affects speed detection dance, but again, not by too not by too much if I'm using subs. And most of this is going to be oceans. Optimized for those. Shallow sea, those will be a problem. I am just going to avoid the English Channel. It's an archipelagos again. They're hard to spot, but hard to move. If you ask for naval work, I'm going to focus target, target the eastern, the western. I can't even. I'm probably the Bay of Biscay.
So I'm gonna go with this now just to get this up. Later I'm gonna get uh, get Douglas Hyde for that extra flat stability. That'll be particularly useful towards the end of much. Right. But you can keep us out of Germany. As I was saying, that weather's not too much of an issue. Positioning be handy, might be okay. However, I'm gonna go with this because fighting in the dark, that's what half the day and night cycle. Let's go on. Engineer isn't really gonna help me much because. It, ba it basically effect affects it across bridges and stuff. E or fighting, basically attack. If you're attacking rivers or ports, it helps, but not really all that useful. It might get me a specialist role as a as a entrenchment specialist, but not really all that useful to me. This, on the other hand, might be. That's a real act of desperation right there. The superior firepower unlocks this barrier. Which basically means lob shells at the enemy to force them to keep their heads down. It might be useful from attacking or counter-attacking. I'd say I was going to do French. Maybe submarine hull. The engineer company really affects these guys, and and recon will only really affect the artillery. But it's worth doing. This up regular enough artillery and stuff. Not quite, but we will get there. As I was saying, go with. That's not really much use to me. Or glass when moving, that's not going to be too much. Static Warfare? Well, I'm going to be playing defensively. I can actually go with Disperse Source. Almost invariably go with... Go with Integrated Support, Extra Soft Attack Organization. I'm using line artillery. I may as well. So 
also help with controlling the skies around Ireland. We want that. The main reason I'm putting them, putting them like this is so I can pull up my instrument relatively quickly. Mm, what we'll to go with? Complete ground support because we'll need the extra air superiority. I need to start building up my support. Furious support. Those are good. Massive thing. Once the war start start blow up, I might and I join the Allies. What we're gonna do is use some of these civilian factories to provide supplies throughout railways, naval bases, supply hubs, radars. Like I like I said, this is gonna be a support plate. This I am going to efforts, or rather flexible navy, then submarine effort. It's not gonna bother with mines because you can see there's no there's just no point in the other. Her mines really come as their own is in maybe maybe shallows definitely in archipelagos. Or basically area of denial. Oh we got something off the terms. now so wrap up and come back to this tomorrow sometime over the weekend next one